Teacher talking sports, what it does, what it do, how we live. And if you've been a follower of the channel, you know every Thursday I do something called Is He a Hall of Famer? Where we take a look at a professional athlete who isn't a surefire Hall of Famer, but definitely deserves consideration. Take a look at their career. At the end, I give my final verdict as to whether I believe they belong in their sports Hall of Fame or not. But as always, I like to hear from you guys in the comments whether you believe so. It's been a while since I've done an active player whose career is winding down. So today we are going to do one of those Look at an NBA guy. So the 28th edition of Is He a Hall of Famer is center Al Horford. Horford was selected with the third overall pick in the 2007 NBA draft out of Florida by the Atlanta Hawks. Horford would go on to play nine seasons with the Hawks, spanning from 2007-08 to 2015-16, before joining the Celtics for three seasons from 2016-17 to 2018-19. Horford would play one season with the 76ers in 2019-20, one more season with the Oklahoma City Thunder in 2020-21, and he has gone back to Boston for the last two seasons. So he is 16 seasons deep in his career, 37 years old, which he turned on June 3rd. Let's take a look at his basketball reference page to look at his career numbers. So Horford in his 16 seasons, 1,013 career games. 13.4 points, 8.1 rebounds, 3.3 assists, averages, shooting 51.3% from the field, 37.4% from deep, and making a little bit more than three quarters of his free throw attempts. Uh, let's look at his season by season numbers. So Horford was named to five all-star teams in his career. Four came with the Hawks, one came with the Celtics. Uh, he was just named to one All-NBA team that came in the 2010-11 season where he finished third. And one All-Defensive team. He was second All-Defensive team in 2017-18. Uh, so we take a look. Very consistent player. Last season was actually the first where he didn't average double digits in scoring. And he finished just .2 points per game off that mark his high water mark did come in the 2013-14 season 18.6 points but that was just in 29 games so really uh his most in a full season came the previous season 2012-13 where he averaged career highs in both points well in a season where he played a bunch of games 17.4 points 10.2 rebounds um, his career high in assists came in 2016-17 with the Celtics, averaging five per game. So he's always been a good passing big man, 3.3 assists, one and a half turnovers per game. So over a two to one assist to turnover ratio. Um, always a guy who seemed to sacrifice his numbers. Played on some very good Atlanta Hawks teams, albeit ones that didn't reach the NBA Finals, but. Um, you know, had one season where they had four All-Stars, him, Jeff Teague, uh, Kyle Korver, and Paul Millsap. Uh, so, again, just wildly consistent. Uh, shot over 50% from the field every season from 2008-09 to 2015-16. And later in his career, he's developed more of a three-point shot, as in each of the last eight seasons he's made more than one three per game, including a career high 2.3 per game last season on a career high 44.6% from deep. Uh, he's had some where he shot higher percentage, but that was on extremely low volume. Um, never a guy who got to the free throw line much, and especially now later in his career where he does spend a lot of his time behind the three point arc. Uh, but a reliable free throw shooter to be sure. Let's take a look at his playoff numbers. So he's played in 167 career playoff games. Um, he was a member of 
the Celtics that reached the NBA Finals in 2022. Also in 2017, I forgot who they lost to in these conference finals. They lost to the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers, but um, they lost in the 2022 NBA Finals. Uh, and this past season, they lost in Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Finals to the Miami Heat was kind of a struggle in the postseason for Horford, so accurate from three in the regular season, less than 30% from deep uh, in the postseason. But the season before that, he shot 48% from three uh, as the Celtics reached the NBA Finals but lost to the uh, Golden State Warriors. So a lot of playoff experience, but just that one NBA Finals um, Hawks, again, had successful regular season teams, but I believe just one of those teams reached the Eastern Conference Finals. Uh, his efficiency really didn't fall off much in the postseason, a little under 50% from the field. Uh, averages are fairly similar to what they are in the regular season, so he, he was dependable in the postseason as well. Let's take a look at how the advanced statistics, the metrics think what they think of Al Horford so I don't know why it's going so slow there we go uh his career per of 18.2 average is 15 so well above average he had he's had a total of four seasons where he's had over a 20 per and last season was the first of his career actually I'm sorry the second of his career we had a below average per as a rookie 14.7 last season 13.8 you see a very solid 106.6 career win shares uh, not bad for a guy trying to be in the hall of fame also basketball reference likes doing something called um, similarity scores where they take a look at win shares and compare guys uh, via their win shares so the most the players that he's most similar to Bill Lambeer, not in the Hall of Fame. Some think he should be. Alonzo Mourning in the Hall of Fame. Jack Sigma recently got in. Dikembe Mutombo in. Wes Unseld in. Tyson Chandler not in. Marcus Soule, a guy I've thought about doing for this series. He's not yet eligible. Uh, Vladi Divac in. Although, I think a lot of that has to do with um, international. Um, you know, things things he did off the court. Bob Lanier in, Brad Miller not in. So about half of them are in. So that doesn't really uh, hurt him. Uh, you see his three seasons at Florida. And that definitely helps his Hall of Fame case. Not that he put up extraordinary numbers in college. Um, again, kind of sacrificed his numbers a little bit for the team. Um, you know, was still a highly sought-after prospect, as seen being the third overall pick in 2007. But he won back-to-back -back national championships in 2006 and 2007. The Basketball Hall of Fame, keyword basketball. The Hall of Fame, there is no Hall of Fame for strictly NBA. It's basketball. So those two national championships carry a lot of weight for Horford. Because, you know, only having one All-NBA, one All-Defensive don't really help him. His career marks, uh, career averages don't really jump off the page. Uh, right now, he is 68th all-time with this 8,161 rebounds. And uh, 64th all-time with this 1,187 blocks. Um, so, you know, he's still got time to move up those. We'll see how many more years he plays. Uh, you know, against while he did have his worst season in per, he was his most accurate from three point range. So if he could continue to do that, he should be able to have a couple more solid good seasons. And he still did start all 63 of his appearances last season. Let's take a look at a couple of websites. This first one is Fan Nation. Is Al Horford a Hall of Famer? So this was written after uh, the Celtics beat the Warriors in Game 1 of the NBA Finals back in 2022. As we know, they lost that series. The article mentions uh, he's never been seen as one of the top 15 players in the NBA, but has always been a very good player, just off longevity alone. He's a lot more accomplished than the majority of players who ever play in the NBA. Played an astonishing 142 playoff games. That's up to 167. Uh, he didn't become an NBA champion. Uh, so it's 
not just for the NBA, all basketball career accomplishments. Therefore, the two national championships that he won with Florida in college will count towards his resume. Longevity and consistency are two of the biggest things he has been able to accomplish, and that is nothing to take lightly. Will he be a first ballot Hall of Famer? Of course not. Could he make the Hall of Fame? Of course. Uh, he also did stuff with the Dominican Republic. Um, their na in national teams. I'm not sure if it's in this article. I don't remember. Uh, this is without a ring as Al Horford Hall of Famer. was written in April of this year. Sports Kita. So the article mentions how, uh, let's see. Uh, according to basketball reference, uh, this was the past, first, this past season was the first season average double digits in scoring, saying he's consistent. Career Martin. 8.1 rebounds per game, ranked better than future Hall of Famers, Dirk Nowitzki and LeBron James. Uh, mentions his career blocks. I don't know if those are necessarily numbers that... Here we go. Um, make his Hall of Fame case stronger. But um, former All-American has earned three medals for the Dominican Republic, two bronzes, Central Basket, one gold, and FIBA America Cup. And believe me, those do matter when it comes to the Hall of Fame. Uh, Dominican Republic, not necessarily seen as one of the strongest nations for the um, international play, but Horford was able to lead them to three medals in international play. They actually had a poll. Is he a Hall of Famer? 68% said yes, albeit in just 50 votes, so not um, you know a widespread vote. Uh, so my final verdict, honestly, would I put him in the Hall of Fame? I'm not sure. Do I think he'll be in the Hall of Fame? Yes, I do. Again, the, the stuff outside the NBA matters quite a bit. And winning two national championships, uh, he's really the only guy from those Florida teams that are in the Hall of Fame case. Corey Brewer, um, of course not. And Joakim Noah, his peak of his career just wasn't long enough to be considered. Uh, winning medals with the Dominican Republic. I do think Al Horford is going to make the Hall of Fame. The cherry on top would probably be win probably be winning that NBA Finals. I think if it was strictly an NBA Hall of Fame, I would definitely say no. Um, again, I I realize he did sack probably could have scored more. Um, you know, sacrificed his numbers a bit. Was a great team player, but you know just. As that one article mentioned, never really seen as a top 15 player, just one All-NBA third team. But since it is the Basketball Hall of Fame, I'm going to say Al Horford will get in. What is your thoughts? Do you believe Al Horford should be enshrined in the Basketball Hall of Fame? Remember, it's not just NBA. Um, as always, you can let me know in the comments, guys, you would like to see me do in future episodes. I have all these in a playlist. You could see who I did in previous ones. Check them out. Uh, but anyhow, don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.